that noise you hear right now, that's the noise you hear every day in this neighborhood. Well, not necessarily this neighborhood, this avenue for the past month or so. So I'm already used to it, but I'm sure you guys aren't. You can hear it right now. I don't know how good the mic is internally in the system. But alright. I've neglected this YouTube channel a little bit. Thankfully, I still have my Twitter. That I just I got a new Twitter right now. I deleted the old one, 2011, called A Song Sheet, and replaced it with Bob Ray Nation, which already has way more followers. 52, but still way more than two. Regardless. There's a lot of pop culture things I've neglected because I've been so focused on my blog posts, on the right stuff, and my own blog, Our Waking Nightmare, that uh, I just don't really think I'm concerned about YouTube, where you say something too boyish and they fucking rip your anus apart. How dare you advocate for civilization? Regardless, one of the things I neglected, and this is basically, I neglected Ben Affleck. Everyone's been freaking out about Ben Affleck in the mainstream media because he's going to become Batman. Which, straight off the bat, Ben Affleck is a better choice for Batman than George Clooney and Adam West. I don't know about Christian Bale, though. Me, personally, I think Christian Bale is an overrated shit-eater. And I don't really care for any of the Batman films, really. Nolan is a shitty director, he's overrated, his character archetypes are somewhat interesting. Get, no matter how interesting they are, they're still shit. These characters are still shit, there's no one really to root for but the bad guy, and the bad guy is always a fucking degenerate in terms of his ideology. Yet yeah, his degenerate ideology is still going to be better than the femme cunts, Brahmin culture that makes up Gotham, which is really New York 2.0 in these films. At least in the 90s, Gotham was actually its own place. Sure, Gotham was always based on downtown New York, kind of like how Spider-Man is always based off midtown New York, but Spider-Man does have an explicit New York setting along with Daredevil. Maybe not nowadays, since Spider-Man's going to feature a black guy in the Bronx. A black, gay, Hispanic. So basically, it's going to be about my niggas in law and finance. Boy, am I glad I graduated. I mean, honestly, I always liked Spider-Man, I always liked Marvel better than DC. I don't give a shit about DC. The only people that like DC like it for fucking Batman. Instead of like Batman, I like DC. Granted, granted, I do like The Flash. I like how uh, the Green, <laughs> Green Lantern was basically a white guy, and then they made him Black in Justice League, and then the black guy, even my teacher was throwing that. But then we went back to being white in the movies, then they got angry at that shit. You stole his race from us. <laughs> uh, but he was never that to begin with. They were gonna make Neil Caffrey Superman, but Neil Caffrey came out the closet. Or, not Neil Caffrey, Matt Bomer. 
Neil Caprio's name of his character from White Collar, which is an awesome series. What else? Oh, I'm not naked on this, but I'm not going to show you what's under this. Next, you got the whole Miley Cyrus thing. Basically, Miley Cyrus is fucking. Um, she did that BMA's performance where her hairstyle was like a blonde devil and she had her tongue out and she was working and her ass looked really fucked. Uh, a lot of people weren't willing to fuck Miley Cyrus. They were questioning the morality of it, but uh, the femme cunts were basically saying, How come it's okay with. Miley Cyrus, not Robin Dick. And if it wasn't messed up with, uh, both cases, it's because they're imitating black culture, not because they're being sexual deviants. This is kind of where third wave feminism really does piss me off. And, uh, say what you want about the first two waves, I really didn't like them, I fucking hated them. But they weren't nearly as schizophrenic as this wave. This wave is explicitly postmodern. Let's have a little scenery change. Why not? Fuck it. Yeah. Okay, going into the serious issue. And I'm not going to be here for long. A lot of people are mad about how they focus on this for a little while, and there's a lot of mixed messages. A lot of the Jews were trying to manipulate us into going into Syria. Even the reactionary types basically say, oh, well, the Syrian government's attacking Christians, too, trying to manipulate the reactionaries, but... Uh, that shit didn't work, and everyone, even the most dumbass of liberals kind of waking up to this and saying, hey wait, this is fucking wrong. This, this isn't good. Isn't, wasn't Obama basically starting off with this anti-war hype thing? So the 2012 degeneracy is basically over now. Everyone's kind of opened their eyes. Which is usually what they do once, uh, election times are over, they usually wise up after that, almost instantly after sometimes. But, what the fuck did you expect? Yeah, y'all niggas are probably sick and tired of looking at my scrawny ass body. It's like a war zone out there. And of course, we're going back to George Zimmerman. George Zimmerman had his fucking issues with his wife. Now he's going to be on some domestic charges, but they dropped those charges. So of course, you can't Zimmer, you can't Zimmer to Zimmer. I'm so surprised that uh, Zimmerman is like still getting heat, man. Mainstream media is his reality show. CNN, MSNBC, Fox, CBS, uh, the world is his reality show, basically. Because he, he's the main distraction now, which I'm actually happy about because relative to the other distractions, Beyonce, Jay Z, this guy. I can get behind. I mean, granted, I really don't like the fact that we have to basically support this guy now. Because, alright, he's the lesser of two people right now. The, the Trayvon Martin, Eternal Black victimizers, and martyrdom guys, they're problematic. They're detestable. I'm gonna go to the bathroom now. This is the second time I've done this.
And the last time it was in 2011. Alright, fuck, shit. I cannot stay in one room right now. I love being home fucking alone. Of course, this guy's a Cro-Mag future... Yeah, he, he has gone crazy, I will admit that. At the same time, his opposers are femme cunts and all these other guys that I really despise even more than the typical Cro-Mag. And I do have a lot of Cro-Mag friends who I do, can't get behind, who do tend to abuse any power they have. I mean, he's a neighborhood watch guy, he's not a real cop. At the same time, he's fucking, he's better than half these guys that are going up against him, and there's no good, only bad that can form from this guy getting into trouble and bullshit. I cannot get behind this guy, but I can't never get behind his supporters. Does that make me a swipple? Does that make me a Brahmin? No. No. I still hate Starbucks. I still love Bayesia culture. I'll support the Confederates before the Yankees. I really do think the Civil War should have went the other way around. But with that being said, fuck all these niggas. I got too much standards, I always had. So it kinda made me a very irritating and cap. That's what makes me an irritating whatever the fuck I am now. Because no nothing makes me satisfied. I'm always angry. I'm always pissed. <laughs> That's what kinda makes me the cult of personality and not... whoever's in the comment section giving me shit. Because I stand for too much shit. Too much of an... I'm too butthurt. I'm not even butthurt, I'm your reef for hurt. My dick hole is in pain for some reason. It's like someone put their fist down to my dick hole and then let go of the fist and start wiggling their fingers in my urethra. And, and it fucking hurts. And it fucking hurts, but that's the life I chose being a fucking psychotic, rambling dumbass. Uh, it's funny how, despite the fact that that Russian guy, Vladimir Putin, even though he doesn't have a Western soul, he's still, civ he's still choosing Western civilization more than Obama is. And Obama's scared of that guy, that's why we don't have World War III going on. I'm going to... Uh, for... The next three Fridays is going to be some blog posts at our wakingnightmare.blogspot.com, which you will want to see since it's very interesting. I cover the faults of patriotism and how it's a terrible substitute for nationalism, along with the tribalistic ideologies that we're dealing with right now in America and in other places, but specifically in America. Uh, in the anarchist question, I'm going to cover anarchism and it, its liberal roots, its transformation from something that's semi-aristocratic to fully democratic in a lot of ways and what that transformation means. And there's going to be one on the faults of literacy, how literacy rates, the more they go up, it's not a good thing, it's usually a bad thing. So that's the end of my video. Um, this is Mr. Wonka7. Back from... Back from nothing, really. Telling y'all niggas to suck... Suck this homie niggas dick. Alright, that's it.